Happy Monday, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mo Mondays. In today's episode, I am going to teach you in a few minutes exactly how to update your Teams Rooms device through the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. So let's go ahead and share my screen. There we go. Up and running. Cool. And I will just hide my face. Super. Okay, then. So as soon as you log into the Teams Admin Center, and I'll drop the link just down below so you can see exactly how to do it. The first screen that you are greeted with is this one across here. Now, when you're looking at this screen, this is the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Um, so it has all the admin centers for all things uh, 365. What the first thing that you want to do is really just shoot all the way down here to the bottom uh, where we have Teams. Go ahead, select Teams, and it will then automatically bring you into the Teams Admin Center. Once you are in the Teams Admin Center, you should be greeted with this screen across here. So it will bring across things like your activity log, you know, your user activity, you can search users, etc. But what we are interested in is on the left-hand side. So we simply scroll across here to Teams Devices, uh, open it up, and then you'll see Teams Rooms on Windows and Teams Rooms on Android. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Teams Rooms on Android. Uh, because I know I actually have an update pending. Now, as soon as um, you open this up, it will then show all of the devices that are enrolled into Teams Admin Center. And you'll notice there are a couple of changes that have been happening over the last few weeks, few months. Uh, for example, you're now able to see what license is assigned um, on your account as well. So you can see all the devices that I have here currently uh, are all on the pro license, but you will notice that where it says Mo Khalifa's Office X30, um, the health status is actually on non-urgent. Now, non-urgent could mean a whole number of different things, right? Most of the time, it's things like updates. Other times, it could be something really simple, which isn't really going to affect core quality or cause any issues. Uh, but if I simply go ahead and I select my device, it will then go uh, uh, open up and load up my whole device across here. And again, while it's loading up, you can see the health status is showing non-urgent. Uh, non you can see the name. You can see uh, kind of like my uh, username, etc. And then the quality will pop up. Now, I've not used my device in a few days, um, in about a week. Um, hence the reason why the, the, the core quality probably isn't going to show. But because I'm using an Android device, I also have like the touch console um, that's attached to it. So in the same window, it will also show you um, the touch console, the Poly TC8 um, that's currently connected to it. I'm sim simply going to go ahead and scroll across here to the health button. Hit the health button. It will then load up and it will show you the admin agent firmware, um, um, the current version of the firmware, the company portal lab, etc. Mm -hmm. But you'll see just down below here, we show the Teams app. Uh, and then you see instead of it saying up to date, it now say, says see available updates. So go ahead, hit the see available updates. That then opens up the side panel. Now on the side panel, um, we have a couple of options. We can choose to do manual updates or we can choose to do uh, kind of automatic updates and let Teams Admin Center just push out the updates as normal. Um, but you'll see across here, what we've now got is the current version, um, the current app version that's sitting on my device. And then of course, the new version that's here um, as well. And one of the other new features that Microsoft applied is if it has been verified by Microsoft. Now you would have seen in earlier um, episodes, um, when we were talking about kind of the Teams Admin Center and talking about updates. And one of the comments I made is Microsoft always recommend to update via uh, Teams Admin Center instead of doing it via an OEM, unless you're having issues and you need to kind of just push them firmer up real quick. But this time around, you're able to now see what's been verified by Microsoft and what hasn't been verified by Microsoft. So if you see the firmware version here on the uh, OEMs um, kind of management portals, then you know if it's been verified or not. Uh, but of course, we want to be safe right here. Now, if I select um, the update, I can schedule it as well. So I can say, hey, look, it's during a working day. I don't want to push it out now. I want to push it out later on. So you can set the date. You can select the time, etc. But in my case, what I want to do is I want to push this update out straight away. And it's as easy as me simply hitting the update button just down here at the bottom. That will then queue it, and you'll notice across the top, the update preferences were saved, uh, operation will be canceled, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and if I click here on uh, activity, um, or even history for that matter, it will, it will basically show exactly what the activity is, um, and it will show that the update has been pending or queued. Now, normally, uh, if you have a look at your device, 
it will push through in roughly around five to ten minutes across there but it can take up to 24 hours um just depending on how your network's set up but nine times out of ten it will push through within kind of 10 20 minutes uh across there and then it will just unless you've obviously uh, set up a schedule uh as well so nice and simple if you need to update your devices you simply go ahead uh hit the health button scroll down see the available updates hit that select your button um the software version uh hit the update uh and that will then put it pending obviously it's already queued or initiated uh across the top here uh and that's it it's as easy as that so you'll see actually it's under history um so under history you'll see software update is queued um you can hit that operation will be cancelled if it can't start within seven days uh, and it will show who's actually initiated uh, the update for you as well so five minutes are up nice and easy in order for you to update your team's room devices via team's admin center if you want to do it manually this is how you do it apart from that guys thank you so much make sure to like subscribe uh, and follow down below and of course i shall see you guys next week